The backup and restore feature in Azure App Service will let you easily create app backups manually or on a schedule. You can configure the backups to be retained up to indefinite amount of time. You can restore the app to a snapshot of a previous state by overwriting the existing app or restoring to another app. So you may be thinking about the backup service and what actually gets backed up. Let's talk about that. The app service will back up information to an Azure storage account and then it will go inside a container that you configure your app to use. The backup service in the app services will back up the app configuration, the file content and the database connected to your app. So if you have connected to SQL database or Azure database for MySQL or the Azure database for Postgres and the MySQL option inside the app, it will take backup of that as well. But there are several things that you need to consider. The backup and restore feature requires the app service plan to be in the standard tier or in the premium tier. You cannot have it in free tier or basic tier and expect backup and restoration features. That's one. Another point is that you can configure backups manually or on a particular schedule that I'm going to show that in a minute when we are configuring the backups in the lab environment. The next point is you need to have the Azure storage account and the container in the same subscription as your application that you want to backup. After you have made one or more backups for your application, the backups are then visible on the container page of your storage account. In the storage account, each backup consists of a zip file that contains the backup data and also an XML file that contains the manifest of the zip file contents. You can unzip and browse these files if you want to access your backups without actually performing an application restore. Now, are these backups full backups or incremental backups or differential? Let's talk about that. Now, these backups which are done by the backup service is a full backup that's done by default so when a full backup is restored all content on the site is replaced with whatever is there in the backup so if a file is on the site but it's not in the backup then it will get deleted partial backups are supported but partial backups allow you to choose exactly which files you want to backup when a partial backup is restored any content that is located in one of the blacklisted directories or any blacklisted file is left as it is. You restore partial backups of your site the same way you would restore a regular backup. Just like other backup services, here as well you can exclude files and folders that you do not want to take a backup. So what is the maximum size of the backup? As on today, the backups can be up to 10 gigs of the application and database content cumulatively. All right, that being said and done, let's go ahead and configure the backups in the Azure portal. Now that backup is not configured, and there's a setting option here which says backup is not configured and click here to configure backup for your app. So I'll click on that. As we discussed earlier, all the backups that are taken for your app service will then go and sit inside the backup storage. So I need to configure a storage account. So I'll click on storage settings and now what you'll see is all the storage accounts that you have so far. You can create a specific storage account for this purpose. But for this demonstration purposes, I will select the storage account that I have and then also select the container. All right, so I'll click on select. Okay, the storage account is selected. The container is selected. Let's move on further. Now the next option will let you schedule a backup. If you toggle this to on, you will have the options here. What should be the frequency of the backups here, right? So do you want to backup every day or toggle to this hours option and this will backup every hour. You can set the time of the day, a particular time zone, the retention period, which is 30 by default. And if you would like to keep at least one backup in the storage account, then if you scroll down, you have an option to choose whether you want to take a backup of your database or not. Okay, like we discussed earlier, you are taking a backup of the data of your web application plus the ones in your database. That means that the backup service in your application services is providing a one-stop shop for your backup and restore purposes.